Hello Travelers, Boardman21 here, and today we're going to talk about some of the new armor sets that they've teased for this. Now this isn't the stats of the sets, just the new visuals and 3D art for them, and how good some of them are looking. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. We have the Acolyte armor set. First, the Acolyte's new set takes a lightweight approach to a gothic, demonic, and ragged theme. It pairs perfectly with some of the new darker themed catalysts revealed on the weekend. In order to achieve a realistic result of the different layers of clothes in game, we had to use a combination of simulating the fabric in 3D and manually sculpting it. And then as we go down, here is your good old Acolyte set. And as you can see, it actually looks pretty good. I like it. I like the spikes or horns coming off as you would. And then you can also see that it has kind of that gothic look to it. And then here is the rotating 3D model to get a good view of it the whole way. Again, this link will be in the description below so that you can go and check these out for yourself if you would like. And then the next set we have is the Primalist armor set, which is definitely very animal related as he is a companion based character that's either transforming or has companions and pets. With that, you can see there is a ton of fur on almost every aspect of his set, which really ties him and thematically puts him into that class. For the Rogue, our new mid-tier Rogue armor set takes on the Soul of the Outlaw. It opens design leaves mobility completely unhindered while providing heavier protection while in marksman stance at range, protecting the side profile of the shooter. Also check out the hat, that is going to be a popular hat. And as you can see with the hat, it's got that single feather coming off. Just like they said in the description, you're extra padded on the side, especially when shooting from kind of a side stance with a bow, so you can take the heavy hits from the side. Again, in combat, I really doubt that it makes a difference the way that you're actually positioned positioned which way you're facing the enemy but perhaps that will change in the future and as you go down you can see they definitely did some good work on this i think it looks really good can't wait to wear it on a good old rogue and then for the sentinel our end game ready high tier sentinel set showcase a beautiful combination of battle scarred plate and white wolf fur we would love to believe the fur adds an element of comfort here for our sentinel's journey but how comfortable can you really be in the depths of Eterra? the biggest challenge here was bringing together the technical challenge of fear and hard surface materials into one unified piece and as you can see here it looks like it's just barely cushioned around the areas where it would be touching your skin the most in the openings and it looks pretty good i like it definitely looks battle hardened definitely got a lot of layers to it and looks like you can definitely take a hit you're very well protected definitely for being a tanky class i like the look of it what do you guys think that's going to be the last set that they teased to us go ahead and let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favorite and which one would you like to see on your character first as always stay safe travelers and have a good day